In today's video, I'm gonna show you this cool effect edited in Ali Abdal style. So let's do it! In the first part, we have to do two PNGs, one upper and one lower part. For my case, I will do it in Photoshop, but you can also do it in Canva if you like. Import the picture of the person that you like. In my case, I've imported myself and I already cut myself out and put it on a green screen background because it's easier later to edit in CapCut. First, we have to unlock the layer. Then go up to your left, select Lasso tool and draw this distort line like it is a torn paper. Then go to lower left and click on mask and then plus sign. Move your cursor to lower layer on the black part, press shift or command and click. Go to your left and select white color. If you don't have it then press X on your keyboard. Select paint bucket and click on the picture. Pull the upper layer down, go to your left, select move tool and press directional arrow key on your keyboard a couple of times so you get that white out. Then go up to your file, export, save for web and save it as PNG somewhere on your computer. Go back to the picture, go up where you see window and select history. Scroll up till you see lasso tool and click on it. Then click on that invert sign, so selection goes to upper part. From now we just have to repeat the process like we did in the first time. When you save your both PNGs to your computer, head over to CapCut and import some green or blue background with noise that Ali is usually using. You can get those at Freepik or Pexos. Click on plus sign to drop it down to the timeline and stretch it a little bit. Then import your two PNGs and drag them to the timeline. Select one and go up to Cutout, Chroma Key color picker, click on green background and pull the strength to maximum. Do the same for the second PNG. Now pull one of those PNG on top and stretch both PNGs to the same length as our background. Right click on PNG and create a compound clip. Do the same for the other PNG. Go up to effects, video effects and find the effect called 1998 and pull it down to the first PNG. Go to your right side and pull the filters to around 15 and texture to around 45. This will give us a grainy effect to our PNG. Do the same for second PNG. Filters to 15 and texture to around 45. Move your playhead to the beginning. Select one of PNGs and move on the right side to the top and click basic. We will have to set some keyframes because we want to simulate some stop motion to our PNGs. So click here for the position and size and do the same for your second PNG. Now pull your upper part to the top and rotate it slightly. Do the same for the lower part. And then hold shift and press once on your right directional key on your keyboard. This way we're gonna jump 10 frames forward. Click keyframe on position and size 
and do the same for your other PNG. Now drag your playhead just one frame forward. Move your upper part slightly down and rotate it to 0 degrees. Select the second PNG and pull it slightly up and rotate it to 0 degrees. You might pull it up all the way so you can rotate it to the 0 degrees. Now again hold shift and click once on your right directional key on your keyboard. So we jump 10 frames forward again. Click on keyframe on position and size and do the same for the second PNG. Pull your playhead one frame forward. Pull your upper part slightly down and rotate it. And also pull your lower part slightly up and rotate it. Then again hold shift and press your right directional key once so we move forward 10 frames. Click keyframe on position and size and do the same for the other PNG. Then move your playhead again for one frame forward. And then move both PNGs together so they match perfectly. So if you play that now you will see that we created a nice stop motion effect. Now move to your very last keyframe, import your whole picture and pull it down to your timeline and place it above everything. Go to your right side, click cutout, chroma key, color picker, click on that green background and move the slider for strength to the maximum. Now I want to apply a black stripe over my eyes. So I'm gonna import the black square and place it on the top of everything. I will go to mask and choose rectangle. Now I'm just gonna reshape it to the size that can cover my eyes. I will rotate it slightly so it match the angle of my eyes. Then click on basic, highlight black stripe and the whole picture, right click and create a compound clip. Because we want to match our picture to other two PNGs, we need to apply the same effect to the picture. So go to effects, video effects and find that filter called 1998 and drag it down to the picture. And set the values the same as we did for two PNGs. I want to add one more filter which is called play pendulum. So drag it to the picture and set the values. Twist 0, strength 10, sharpen 50 and speed 40. Now as you can see here I added some scribbles which will make this video more interesting. You can find those scribbles if you go to stickers and scroll down and you will find them in sketch part. So when you're happy with everything, all we need to add at the end is some sound effects. Go up to audio, sound effects and for the beginning of the video we will add some crumple paper sound effect. Then cut that sound effect at the point where scribbles kick in. And from here on we will add some glitch sound effect. And if it's too short you can copy the same effect and use it a couple of times. I will also share with you all the materials down in the description so you can practice at home. But for now let's see what we've created today. If you liked the video smash that like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.